I am Mike Kamuff, Alfred Composer, Arranger, and Clinician, and I'd like to welcome you to this Bellwin Jazz Best Sellers and New Releases webinar. No matter what the level of your jazz ensemble, our catalog is going to have something that fits the bill and with quality literature that uh, meets the needs of your ensemble. We're going to get started with something in our Jazz Beginning series and under our new releases, and this is uh, from the pen of Victor Lopez, and Victor always does a great job of, of making things playable by young musicians. Our Jazz Beginning series has, uh, is, is written for four saxophones, two trumpets, two trombones, four rhythm section, but it's playable with three saxophones, one trumpet, one trombone, uh, and three rhythm. There's also color parts for flutes, two flute parts, uh, two clarinet parts, baritone saxophone, uh, vibes, tuba, uh, French horn, and baritone treble clef. This first chart is the Cool in the Gang Tunes Celebration. It's straight ahead. It's very, very playable for grade one jazz ensemble, or even, even, even a little bit younger than grade one. There's carefully notated rhythm section parts, no solos, top trumpet part is E-flat, fourth space. We hope you enjoy Celebration, arranged by Victor Lopez. Next up, we're going to move over to a new, uh, new release from our first year jazz ensemble series. Uh, this series is written for five saxophones, three trumpets, three trombones, four rhythm, but it's playable by three saxophones, two trumpets, one trombone, uh, and three rhythm. There are color parts for flute, clarinet, vibes, uh, tuba, horn, and baritone treble clef. This composition is written by Zachary Smith. Uh, and it's entitled 13 O'Clock Jump, and it's just as you would think, it's a 13-bar blues, <laughs> uh, kind of an extension of the 12-bar blues form. Um, this has got a great hook bass line. It's a, a wonderful opportunity to introduce your brass players to easy plunger uh, uh, usage uh, in this chart. Uh, there's room for piano, tenor one, trumpet one, and trombone one solos, as well as some drums on the end. This has a really nice uh, development section and exciting shot course. Hope you enjoy 13 O'Clock Jump by Zachary Smith.
Right hook baseline is going to be a favorite of students and audiences alike. 13 o'clock jump by Zachary Smith. Next up, we're going to move to a new release from our Young Jazz Band series. This series is written for uh, the traditional five saxes, four trumpets, four trombones, four rhythm, uh, but it's playable by four saxophones, three trumpets, two trombones, three rhythm, and it has all the uh, uh, previously mentioned color parts that go along with it. This next chart is one of mine, uh, and it's a, a composition of Nat Adderley's that's dedicated to Sweet Emma Barrett, who is an important uh, person on the New Orleans uh, jazz scene. Uh, this has a gospel rock kind of feel to it. It starts with a chorale at the beginning, uh, featuring alto one and trumpet two, uh, and then it moves into a, it moves into the groove of the tune, much like it was originally recorded by Nat, uh, Nat with his brother Cannibal Adderley uh, in the late 1960s. Um, alto one and trumpet two are featured throughout on the first statement of the melody, and then it kind of take, the band takes over. Those two instruments are featured during the solo section. There's a breakdown. Uh, a development section and a shout course with a modulation. Uh, hope you really enjoyed this. I really had a great time writing this. Here's Sweet Emma by Nat Adderley. Thank you. 
Next, we're going to move to uh, a new release on our Jazz Band series. The Jazz Band series is written at the grade three and three and a half levels. Uh, written for the standard instrumentation of five saxes, four trumpets, four trombones, and four rhythm. This chart in particular has an auxiliary percussion part that uh, requires two players. Uh, and there's also flute uh, vibes and uh, tuba parts as well uh, to supplement the, the ensemble. This is a great soulful and catchy tune penned by Gordon Goodwin. You know, Gordon is such a fantastic writer. Uh, and not only is he just an amazing orchestrator and, and, and writer for his own band and, and on the West Coast, but he's just, he has a, su such a great knack of how to write for young musicians and make it sound uh, incredible and uh, not only incredible, but also incredibly fun to play. And this chart certainly fits the bill. There's a solo section in it that, that where the changes are cued for everyone. Um, and it's, it, there's also guide sheets to go along with, solo guide sheets to go along with that as well. Uh, Lots of varying orchestrations on his theme here. You're going to really enjoy the soul of the band, El Alma de la Banda. What an infectious groove and a fun chart to play by Gordon Goodwin. And that makes the perfect uh, festival closer as well. So does this next one. This makes a great opener or closer as well. Also in our jazz band series, uh, it's it's the Cole Porter tune in the still of the night arranged by myself. Um, this, this arrangement kind of vacillates back and forth between a samba groove 
and, and a straight ahead swing groove. There are solo spots in this for alto one, tenor one, trumpet two, trombone one, and drums. Uh, it's got a great shot chorus on it, it's really hot, um, and again, makes a great festival selection. Here's my arrangement of In the Still of the Night.
going to take a look and listen to some of our best sellers across the Bell and Jazz catalog. And uh, we're going to uh, look at a first year jazz ensemble chart, a grade one written by Zachary Smith. Uh, this one's an infectious bossa nova, an easy going one, but it's, it's, it's a real uh, kind of loping feel to it, easy to play. It kind of lies right in that grade one pocket very easily for young musicians. Uh, this also has a tenor one solo uh, written out as well, carefully notated rhythm section parts, and uh, the top trumpet note of just up to an E. Here is Curacao Blue. Hear that chart a lot as I go out to different schools and festivals, and rightfully so. What a great chart by Zachary Smith, Curacao Blue. Next up is a bestseller in our Young Jazz Band series, Grade 2.5, written by Chris Berg. And if you know Mr. Berg, you know that he's the Chicken Man. And this is a, a, a tune from that series of, of, of charts of his. Again, at the Young Jazz Ensemble grade 2.5 level called No Harm, No Foul. And this is everything that you expect from Chris's funk charts. A great catchy bass line, hip harmonies, hip melodies, just a lot of fun to play. This has two different solo sections in it where uh, the, the saxes get a, a guide solo and any saxophone can solo. And then there's one also for the brass. You're really going to enjoy this. Uh, here is No Harm, No Foul.
and makes the perfect closer for your young jazz ensemble's next concert or festival performance. No Harm, No Foul by Chris Bird. We're going to stay in that young jazz ensemble series, grade 2.5. Uh, this is an iconic tune by uh, Oliver Nelson that I had the good fortune of writing for the, the, for the series. Um, of course, Stolen Moments, uh, an iconic tune, Blues and the Abstract Truth. This is a great way to uh, introduce an iconic recording to your students. Uh, and, and get them into it. This chart features a small band, much like the original recording of Oliver's, uh, on the first chorus of the tune. Uh, once the tune gets going, uh, there's room for alto one and trumpet two for solos, but this can easily be opened up for others. You'll note that some of Oliver's solo material becomes uh, development material in my chart after the uh, after the solo section. Hope you really enjoy this. I had a great time writing this, and I'm glad to see this chart is doing well. Hopefully, you'll enjoy this for your program too. Here is "Stolen Moments" by Oliver Nelson. <laughs>
We're going to stay in the Young Jazz Band series right now and uh, look at the tune Cantaloupe Island by Herbie Hancock. I had the good fortune of writing this for the uh, catalog a number of years ago, and it's become one of the catalog's best sellers. Um, 1964, Herbie Hancock, Imperial Isles, Blue Note Records. This is such an iconic tune and such a part of jazz history. Uh, it's a great way to, to introduce that iconic recording again to your students. Uh, there's solo space here for tenor one and trumpet two, but the uh, limited harmonic palette of just three chords really offers an opportunity to get improvisation going in your band. Some, uh, it has a really cool development section and, and, uh, and shout chorus as well. Hope you enjoy my arrangement of Cantaloupe Island. That's a great way to wrap up a concert or a festival program, Cantaloupe Island. We're going to wrap up our, our best sellers with a great chart in our first year series uh, penned by Mike Story. And uh, this is everything that you expect from Mike's writing, just but it's fun, uh, cleanly notated, clearly notated parts. Uh, and this tune has uh, solo spots for uh, alto one, tenor one, trumpet one, and trombone one. But it only uses two chords, and it's a great springboard for improvisation for your young jazz ensemble. This is uh, straight ahead and, and lots of fun. Here's Van Morrison's tune, 
Moondance, penned by Mike Story. Thank you for tuning in and joining me for this webinar of new releases and bestsellers from the Bellwood Jazz Catalog. We hope you find this music uh, meaningful to you uh, and your ensemble as you pick for a variety of different functions, and hopefully some of these charts fit the bill for your students. On behalf of the writers, we want to thank you for bringing uh, our music to life and bringing it into your classrooms and to your audiences, and we wish you the best for success always. Take care.